Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Node.js. Today we are going to learn about the man-to-man -man relationships in MongoDB using the Mongoose and ExpressJS. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel and if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. Let's get started. So here we have the man-to-man -man relationships. So as an example, we are taking an example of the each student and the courses. Okay. So we will create a simple application to model students and the courses. Each student can enroll in multiple courses, correct? Each student can enroll the multiple courses and each course can have multiple students, right? So this is the logic that we are going to implement <clears throat> because you can say many to many relationships that student can enroll in multiple courses and courses can have the multiple students as a real life example, okay? So let's make this one functional. So let's go to the terminal and build the code. So here we have go to make directory many to many. Okay, cd to many to many. And here we are going to init the package JSON node share setup. Let's open the code. So here first we will add the mongoose and express also. <coughs> then we have to re open the sir MongoDB also. Okay, now we are going to create file app.js so here I am going to create app.js <coughs> here we will add our code ok so here we go so here first one express and the mongoose <coughs> ok then this is initialization and the, this is the port then we have a connectivity with the MongoDB. Okay. Then first we define the student schema. You can see the schema courses. There should be an array. Okay. So Mongo schema type object ID reference <coughs> course. Okay. The next one that we are creating the student model and student student model is there student schema. Then we have a course schema where we have a students and uh, the reference part is going to be the this is course and the, you can see the reference part is the student one okay so both are interlinked okay so this is the course schema that we are importing now we have an api for the students to fetch how many courses they are linked with same courses and how many students we are linked in okay now the rest, last one is this sample data creation so here we are creating the sample data where we have a students create so first we create the student <coughs> okay then we create the courses right after this first student when the co when this update the students course okay so here we have the students when we creating so we are push the course id and course id2 with, with the student we are just passing the course to id Okay, so the student is linked to the courses. Okay, then we are going to save their data. Same with the courses, courses students. So we are pushing first one as a student one and the second course we are pushing the both the students to it. Okay, then we are saving that course. That will give you the sample data to be inserted into your database. <coughs> if any error occurs, then we are handling into the catch block. Okay. Then app dot listen port, which port the server is listening on. Okay, so let's run this node app dot js, and here we go with this one. Let's check the university database because uh, here we are adding the data at the last. So I think this is collection so here we have the courses here we have the students okay. 
but there is no record over here why <coughs> many to many and this is many to many relationship so here we have to this is the api part right so let's go and just hit this api so here we have the postman <coughs> So it's a post request. So here we go with this one. Let's make a post request and send this sample data inserted. Okay, let's see. Then we have a courses linked with the students. You can see the students. The IDs then we have a students that is linked to the courses okay you can see the relationship the next part is just showing whatever what the data coming in the API part so here we go with this one so here you can see that API courses so I will add the courses over here and you can see that this is the get request okay so here you can see that the course one and the how many students linked with that one it's coming up and this is the students again course with the students over here right so you can but you can see that I don't need to add any of the aggregation or something okay so if you if you are managing the relationships it will give you all the data at the same time okay so you don't need to manipulate the data accordingly, right? So next, the same thing we are doing with the students. So students and how many courses they are linked with. So just need to add this one. And this is the student one and the how many courses it is linked with. Okay. You can see that. So this is how we are able to build the many to many relationships in the MongoDB using Mongoose and the Express. Any doubt, any query in that, do let me know in the comment section. Main thing that we are always doing that is the reference. Okay. So make sure you are creating the reference over here and the insertion part you will carry on that one. How to save that ID and all. Okay. Else it will not going to make the relationships. Okay. So make sure everything is as per the relationship. Okay. So this is how you are able to go with the many to many relationships okay so make make sure you are mentioning the reference well while creating the schemas okay so this is the reference that we are giving. if we are putting down putting up the reference then it will show like this okay uh, like in the this one the reference it will come up and we are populating the data of that one because this code here to populate the courses also find and populate the courses so it will give you the student with the courses okay it's because it is linked with the reference right so any doubt any query in that do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day